Good morning, Pez fans. Pez here. Beautiful, dry, sunny day. It's got about 10 degrees right now. I'm going to be going for a ride on this beautiful Fajin Achayo, created by Italian builder Fajin, who has recently just celebrated, well, over 70 years of building bikes. Like so many great Italian builders, these guys do steel beautifully. They started off in steel, of course, at the end of the war when there was no other materials around. There weren't any cars left in Italy because it was bombed into near destruction. The roads were almost impassable in most places, but people needed to get around. And out of that sprung an amazing bike industry, a burgeoning bike industry, which if you think of any country that uh, you can associate with fine handcrafted steel bikes, it's Italy. Fajin came from that. Over the years they've built uh, bikes, they've worked in aluminum, they've worked in steel, uh, they've worked in carbon fiber, they built bikes for pro teams, they, they had a real big big heyday I think in the 1980s, they sponsored a, a number of pro teams in the 80s, they were actual sponsor of the Italian national track team. You can find their bikes on the track at the any photo, old photos of the Olympics from 1980. Columbus has been a fantastic supplier of steel tubing for many years. Probably all of you have ridden a bike made with this wonderful material. The idea of fillet raising is using these beauty, these lugs, where all the joints are to strengthen the joint. And the fillet brazing um, uses either silver or brass, and you heat it up, and the brass and silver melt, fill in these little cracks inside what's, what little space there is, essentially joining all the tubes, welding the whole thing together. This is classic road geometry on this Fajin. One thing that was set up a little bit differently for me, just because of the way they're building their, their stock bikes, is I, I found with this one, I normally would run a 100 millimeter stem, this one was set up for me with a 110. I thought it was gonna be a little bit too long, but it actually wasn't. The, the overall cockpit is, is, feels really fantastic. Different sort of slight, slightly further set back on the seat than I would normally ride. The bike just feels fantastic actually when I'm riding it. We built this bike up with uh, FSA components, K-Force bar, their OS99 stem, which is actually a really beautiful uh, aluminum, very lightweight, very strong stem, their K-Force seat post, carbon fiber, FSA does a great job. Group set, cranks, here are K-Force Lite, compact crank set. FSA, you'll remember, really invented the compact crank set. Uh, back in the early 2000s, they started working on cranks that were a little more, they were better for average guys to turn over. Turn, most guys, if you're like climbing hills, couldn't ride the 5339 chain rings of the day. And uh, FSA was really one of the first brands to come out with something like a 4832, 4834, different, you know, 5134. There's a lot of different combos, but they just make riding a lot more accessible for, uh, for everybody. The group set, or the, the shifters on this thing, Shimano Jura Ace Electric, DI2, Beautiful groups, beautiful shifting, beautiful mechanisms. Saddle. We built this one up with a Repente. Repente Alina saddle. Italian brand, new Italian brand actually, but um, started by, uh, by some guys who've been in the saddle business for a long time and no saddles. Um, so they know what they're doing. The cool thing about these uh, repentes is that the top part, the padding here, is actually removable. Underneath, right in here, these little tabs, little C rings pop off of there, and you can change out the color and the stiffness of the padding up here. So, if you want a different looking saddle, you can uh, just, it's, it's easy, easy to switch without having to buy a whole saddle. Uh, so far, I've, been, I've really enjoyed riding this saddle, it's really comfortable. It's got the uh, open center down there to release pressure on the perineum. It's super light. Wheels on this bike. Something you may not have seen for a long time. Anybody remember Topolino? We reviewed some Topolino wheels a lot like these several years back. And uh, I'm going to be sad when I have to send this back. 
All right, well, thanks for watching. That was a cool little get you started video on Fajin. Nice little brand. Check them out at Overland Imports. You can find them. I'll put the link down below. Uh, also a link to Fajin. It's really fun to be riding an old steel bike. Well, a brand new steel bike again that looks like something I wish I had back in the 80s when I just started riding.